good. We're gonna use FL500S Motorcraft. I like to do this little trick. Take the filter, put it upside down like that. You can pre-pour. filters already got some in it so when the engine starts up it's not starved because immediately when the oil system starts it's gonna go in here hit a dry wall take at least five ten seconds to get through this filter so you could end up starving your components and actually having them run dry which is what's terrible for a motor you do not ever want that to happen so let's get that closed up put this back on now we're under the car we're all ready to go with this on the ground, it's not on jacks or anything, you can reach the bolt right here. That's the drain bolt, and here's your oil filter. So you wanna make sure you get a low profile oil pan that will fit underneath both, just like that. Slide it around, yep, 15 millimeter, just like that. Helps if you're loosening it. <laughs> Set up, ready. Boom, there we go. We're draining. I'm gonna set this, the plug aside. Hang on to it with a wrap. Just like that. Wrap it up, hold on to it. Come back inside the vehicle now. Switch hands here. We're gonna start it. We're gonna watch for oil pressure. All right, with the vehicle running, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go down to life reset under convenience. We're gonna set it to 100%. You just press and hold. Setting complete. There we go. Now we can go back out. Put to system check. Yeah, I know about. All right, 100% oil life. We are good to go on that. Now, if we can shut it off, we're gonna go out and double check the oil. Oil stick. It's always best to wipe it and then put it back in for a clear reading. Otherwise, that's just been in the running motor. There we go. Check it. We're in the crosshatch. We're a little bit low on it, though. We need to aim a little higher. Oh, you can see that. We need to aim just a little bit higher. Try to add just a little bit more. We'll give it a second. Double check it. We'll probably have a little bit more. It's about halfway. Looks good, right in the zone. One more time just to be sure. There we go. Perfect. Exactly where you want it. Right there. Boom. All right, guys. That's how you change the oil in your fifth generation Ford Explorer. If you guys enjoy this content, please consider hitting subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button and share with your other Ford enthusiasts. Thank you so much for sticking around, and we'll be having a lot more here on Smashing Punk Fans. So thank you, guys.